one man and one woman for 21 days in some of the harshest environments on the planet. Fire! Twenty-one days in Thailand, and I'm kind of in a moment of shock right now. Nguyen, turn it. I'm not a vegetarian, and I have no problem whatsoever with my partner out here hunting. But I don't like to eat meat. I'm not going to be the typical girl on the show. It is what it is, and at the end of the day, that's who I am. So take it or leave it. Oh, hello. I'm guessing you're my partner. I am. I'm Lindsay. So I brought my knife. Oh, sweet. I actually, I actually custom made this knife just to kick butt in the, in the jungle for us. Oh, nice. I got my tarp, which is super awesome. I figured nice. we could use it for our shelter. I have hypothyroidism, so my body doesn't regulate heat properly. We, uh, we, we also have a fire starter. Oh. The magnesium fire starter, yeah. so that'll be handy. Matt and Lindsay must also keep close watch for powerful pythons, marauding wild boars, and deadly tigers that could bring their 21-day survival challenge to a fatal conclusion. I know, I see no. your hand. I appreciate the gesture. I'll just pick you right up. You can't pick me well, up. Of course I'm I can. I'm too heavy. All right. <laughs> Thank you, muscles. See, I told you. All right. The first impressions of Lindsay, she seems like she's got a great demeanor, very good attitude, which bodes well for survival chances. So where'd you come from? Um, I'm from Michigan. From Michigan, nice. Where are you from? I'm actually a, a hunting guide out in Colorado. Oh, nice. What do you do for work at home? Um, I work in customer service. So you got to deal with people. I do. Oh, man. Which I'm sure you'll find out shortly that I'm not really a people person. Uh-oh. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Matt and I are getting along quite well. He's a bit sarcastic. I'm extremely sarcastic. So, so far, so good. It's flat. It could, it could be home. It's close to resources, close to, you know, patch of bamboo up there. Water's I not think, too far uh, away. Nope. Thanks. We should raise the bed up off oh, the ground. Oh, definitely. I say we start clearing it and yeah. try to find some bamboo. <laughs> Sweet. Bam. That's a pretty nice knife. You're oh, two wax and it's down. I made it to conquer the jungle, or at least try to. Uh, can you uh, cut this without chopping my arm off? Perfect. You're just covered in these little fire ant termite pincher bug things. So we gotta get our shelter done. That's it, huh? Our beautiful palace. Night one, I'm tired. I wanna go to sleep. Luckily, the tarp's big enough for us to just be for the night. Night one, still middle of the night. Bamboo, right here. The sun's just starting to come, cracking up a little bit. And uh, it's time to go out on the hunt. I want to get out there and, and see what I can find. We need to try to replenish some calories that we uh, burned for sure. And there's a little lizard. Missed him with a rock, but confused him. I brought lunch. Really? Mm. I was going to give you some added protein and let you bite the tail off. Meaty little suckers. OK. Well, I'm just going to eat the tail if you don't mind that. No, oh, no, you have at it. And how does that taste? Oh. You know, this tastes like a lizard. Oh. Hey, look at this. A little CPR, desert CPR. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's not dead. He's dead. No brain function whatsoever. It just takes a little blood and pumps it through his his heart, and his little lizard nerves just decide to move. He's gonna hop and bite you. 
Lindsay's aversion to eating animals is pretty clear. So if I don't want to end up alone out here, I need to help her find some other food sources. This appears to be wild figs. Boys and girls. What? And uh, I don't think they're quite ripe yet. We've got a, some figs to eat. Thank you. All right, well, cheers. These taste like uh, nothing. Oh. Ate those un unripe figs. Oh. One thing I'm pretty sure of is my stomach won't reject fish. Matt starts work on a fish trap while Lindsay tries to settle her stomach. So you see have visions of fig forests? No, no, that's not kind of hot. Quiet time? I'm playing the quiet game. Yeah, I don't, I've never liked quiet time. Just never, I never was very good at it. <laughs> Get old, You quiet. lost, let's start over again. <laughs> but I thought we, we're joking on it, actually having quiet you're, time. You're really not doing good at this game at all. It, uh... Matt does not stop talking, but I know he's trying to help keeping my mind off of other things, and I appreciate that he cares enough to bug me. Now, I am fairly good at knowing the shit out of people when I'm on my A game. How am I doing so far? Still got it. Still got it. Today, I'm gonna go and get us some hard palm to help Lindsay out, and that way she's able to uh, to eat a little bit. Hopefully, get some get some energy. All of that work just for that little piece. There'll be a little more in this one. This one's a good one. Sure, just getting something in our stomach is fantastic. It should be very high in nutrients for us too, so it help keep us going. This tastes very bland. It does kind of taste. Which my stomach right now needs something very bland. Yeah. All right, let's check the trap. God, I hope there's something in here. Oh, oh. that's definitely an eel. Found a, it found a hole. Oh. That right there is a good meal. Probably 250 calories. That right there would have kept us going through the day. Matt, he's a hunter. While he's off hunting, my primary function is to make sure that we have water and to make sure that we have firewood available and find some sort of plant food for myself because figs clearly are not an option. Holy I see dinner. Lindsay, you will not believe this What? That's a big ass snake. That was his head. Okay, oh my God. Ah! Ah! Oh. Hell yeah. That's good. Right now, this is our life. Our survival. This is tricky for me because I'm just not a meat eater. I just don't do it. You have to eat that piece at least. No. Yeah. No. You never know this could be our last meal. I know that part of my weakness is just not eating. I'll probably just get weaker as time goes on. And the truth is, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Ho oh, ho, that's not much, but you gotta take everything you can get. I really wanna vamp up getting more food. And uh, Lindsay, is, she needs to have calories in to get some energy. Essentially all it is, 
prop a rock up. Animal goes under, touches the stick, down it goes. And we'll put that bed on it. Anything kind of coming around our bed sniffing, boom. This storm is a It's cold. It's a uh, real cold. I'm trying not to shiver because I don't want to uh, burn the calories. I appreciate Lindsay's you know, good spirit and good morale and, uh, and strong, strong mental fortitude through this whole thing. We're on a bamboo bed in the jungles of Thailand. I'm not singing along, you know the words. So there's nothing to do but stay under here and try to keep ourselves from dying in the Thailand jungle. Are you done? I, don't, I think I just got started. I felt like I'm in the zone. No, 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 no. Is getting real today. The, uh, the waterfall is angry. Real angry. It's absolutely just, just roaring. I just, I just want to stop, stop raining. I can't hunt. I can't make fire to cook whatever I might catch if I hunt. I'm starving. Come on, Tyler. Work with us here. Work with us. Sun is a shining. Woohoo! First thing this morning, woke up, look up, and her blue sky. That sun coming out is vitally important because that's when the animals also come out. You know, they need to go out, they need to forage, they need to find food. You know, we have to eat to keep that keep our bodies going. And uh, that's gonna be the main goal for today. I am looking exactly where I dropped that fish trap. And I do not see the fish trap. It was there. trap went off. So let's see if something happened. Oh, bam. We got a rat in the deadfall. Huh. Caught a rat in the deadfall trap. We're gonna be very careful cooking him. Rats are real notorious for carrying rabies, uh, hantavirus. We're gonna have to make sure we cook them, you know, definitely well done. We eliminate any kind of risk we would have of, of getting any of these. Because you at least have to eat, eat a hind leg and a front leg. Just eat the rest of the actual main chunks on there. You need, you need the protein. Have sort of a smoked brisket taste to it. Right? I'm definitely uh, very proud of Lindsay. She's got some big hurdles to go through. We're trying to eat meat, and she knew she needed some calories, and uh, and she just she just kind of jungled up and actually ate quite a bit of it. All right, see you later, camp. It's been real. It's been fantastic, but we gotta go. I'm very nervous about this. Yeah, all you gotta do is come down and I'm gonna give you footing. 21 days, I haven't let you down yet. Take this foot, put it over here. I got it, I got it, I got it. Perfect. Oh, that's gotta oh. be it. 
it's running. Oh. Now we're getting in it. This is the end to a very, very long and rough journey. I couldn't have made it through without Matt, but 10 years ago, there's no way in hell I would have been able to do this at all. Woo! Lindsay earned my respect. She was strong enough to make 21 days. This experience is something that changed my life forever. You ah! did good. Ow! Peter Rat today, live tomorrow.